Welcome to Digital Toolbox. I'm Scott, and today we're going to go into editing curves and the basic curve editing manipulations you can do with Rhino. So this is best done in a top view. You can do it in perspective too, but since curves are predominantly 2D uh, items, especially for most of the basic manipulations we'll be doing, uh, let's just check them out in the top view right now. So you know what a basic curve is. It could be a line or a Bezier curve or you know a, a solid uh, closed curve like a, a circle would be. Uh, the, a basic way to edit this, say you just drew this polyline, you can do points on, which is F10, and that gives you control points for this, this curve. So even though you already drew it, you can go back and edit it a little bit by dragging these points, those control points. You can select multiple control points, drag them all at once, and then F11 is to turn those uh, control points off. Uh, the next thing is a trim. Trim is basic uh, if you're doing a uh, any type of basic drafting or just like AutoCAD or many other programs, you use trim a lot. So we'll say that this uh, P line pops out of here to create this key, this key-shaped item. But there's these two two objects. I can use the trim command, select cutting objects, which would be this this circle. Enter when done. I'll right click select object to trim and then I'll just select those those two indentations and they'll, they'll come off so I can select it again and I'll select this as the cutting object enter and then select that in um, that interior part I'll just exit and there you, you have it. you trim these two those two lines down to two different objects. I'll just select hold down shift and select them both and, and press join. Join command joins them to be one curve now. And that's a closed curve. You could extrude that to create a uh, 3D geometry like that. Uh, another good one with the trim command is offset. So say if we wanted a wall that was kind of shaped like this, we could offset Uh, it says it asks for the side to offset so I can offset this direction or the other direction it, it asks for a distance too so I can put in 0.5 or you know whatever distance you want 0.5 is alright and there you go so it just takes this uh, shape and offsets that with these um, this in parts at a, uh, a 90 degree angle to that. So now I can take a, another line and close these these two curves up. And now you, there's four uh, four curves here that I'll select all four of them. You can deselect parts by holding down Control, Shift adds them, and I'll just join that right there. So that's now it's own one object. Um, so we just covered offset, perfect with trim, join. Uh, the opposite of join is explode. So this one object, I can explode that closed curve, and it just breaks up the uh, individual curves that go into making it. So not only those that first poly. Uh, the first polyline gets all broken up into those three segments as well as those two that we just added. So you can delete those now instead of uh, having that full object with the explode command. And then also um, the fill fillet command or fillet is a good command for creating, turning these angles into uh, curves. So I'll go ahead and make this close up this object. 
with another line, select them all, join. Now it's one object. Now fill it is not filler, F I L L E T. So select first curve to fill it. So the, the fillet option is for rounding off sharp angles or you can even uh, add, um, take two curves and uh, create uh, an intersection where they, they kind of curve together. So I'll take these two curves that overlap and turn this intersection into a, a kind of sweeping curve. So fill it select the first curve, one of them, select the second curve, this one, and it takes that intersection and blends them together with uh, this intermediary curve. So that creates not only the first and the second curve are separate, but this intermediary curve is different too. I can join that. And that's good for um, two sharp angles that come together. And sometimes it will say unable to fill the curves, the radius is too big or something, so I'll scale this up. fill it again. Select the first curve, select second curve. And I, I'll just take the radius and type in 1 instead of 6. That's the radius of the, the circle that it's going to uh, take the, that curve from. So there you have it, that, that radius is a radius of 1 unit go ahead and join those. And there you have it. Those basic curve editing, uh, curve editing commands, points on, trim, and offset, join and explode, and fill it.